Volunteers arrive for election monitoring training ahead of Sunday's presidential runoff. The Women's Defence Platform, a feminist group, organised this meeting. It's part of wider civil society mobilisation in response to a public outcry over monitoring failures in the first round of voting on May the 14th. Everyone went to their homes with great despair. We had a very quiet night and the day after, when we met with women friends, we said, we have to do something. And that's why we made the call for feminist observers. Hundreds of thousands of people have signed up as election monitors ahead of Sunday's vote. The mobilization comes after presidential challenger Kamal Kulushtaolu's CHP party acknowledged it bungled election monitoring in the first round of voting. The party admitted it did not have enough monitors and was slow to collate voter numbers amid allegations of voter fraud. As incumbent, President Recep Tayyip Erdogan scored a surprise victory. He may have won nonetheless. But it is clear that there were enough irregularities. We just don't know how many. What it amounts to, is it a half a fraction, a half a percentage point? Is it 1%? Is it more than that? Uh, typically, these things are not uh, more than 1% or 2%. But it, there's no way of knowing if you don't have observers and uh, ballot uh uh, representatives. Erdogan is dismissing allegations of voter irregularities, insisting the election was fair. Voter concerns have mounted ahead of Sunday's presidential runoff after Interior Minister Suleiman Soylu said prominent voter observer group Oi Ver Otasi would be banned from monitoring the polls. They probably know that the second round is not going to be a cakewalk, it's going to be very tight. Uh, and Soylu uh, wants to make sure that nothing goes wrong. But election monitors at Women's Defence Platform are equally determined nothing will go wrong in Sunday's vote, claiming there is too much at stake. As a woman, claiming your own vote means claiming your life, actually claiming your body, claiming your existence, claiming your country because more than half of this country is women, and women are always called secondary, blocked, and left futureless. And, on the other hand, they are constantly exposed to violence. That's why claiming a vote means claiming everything. Erdogan asserts that Sunday's vote will be fair. Hundreds of thousands of election monitors across the country are working to make sure that will indeed be the case. Dorian Jones of VOA News, Istanbul.